Well, <clears throat> it's that time again. It's Saturday lunchtime. And just to prove that I haven't gone anywhere and done anything other than just let the game run, Mr. Spinny is still here. Which means I didn't go off and explore. No, 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 no. Mr. Spinny, he's still right there. Right there. Ah, uh, oh man. That window is just, it's still a little too harsh. Maybe if I change this off to, uh... There we go. That's not as bad. Still a harsh window, but whatever. Well, hello everyone. It's Saturday again, which means it's time to climb the tower once more. But today, we're going to climb the tower in a very interesting, different way. Man, that music is still far too loud. Jeez, there we go. Maybe it wasn't the music. We'll try that. Let's see how that goes. If the balance is off, the balance is off. But I, I think I'm good. But let's start off with a party! There we go! We got it! We got it! Look at that! And... Boom! <laughs> I timed it and everything! <laughs> that was awesome! Alright, well... There we go. So now we can come over here and uh, start working on our next tier. Five and six here. So five is beginning oil processing. We're going to need to do a bit of manual crafting to get this one just because just we haven't quite automated those. <laughs> well, no, I think at this point we do want to automate that stuff. And then industrial manufacturing, or we have the computer, and the manufacturer, and the truck. Ooh. That's all, um... That, that needs plastic and rubber. Alternative fluid transport also needs plastic. And we need that to get the empty canisters. So, we have to do some of this the normal way. Which is... Horribly, terribly, awful. But we'll do it. Expanded power infrastructure where we actually use fuel to make power. It's going to require computers and then heavy modular frames. So we're likely going to need to expand our power a little bit before we even get the fuel generator. But once we get the fuel generator, we also get the Mark IV belts. And the Mark IV lifts, and the ability to scan for deuterium. The jetpack's also going to be really nice, but the one we really, really want, like ASAP, for helping out with everything here, is going to be trains. Once we get trains, this whole process ends up being easier, because we just ferry in the resources to the rest of the tower via trains. Once we, once we can do that, we're set. And, and we just kind of continue with trains from here on out. Until then, though, we're still, we're still stuck with, uh, well, this spaghetti mess. It's not horrible. I know where everything is, but it's still spaghetti. Well, 
Looks like our first steps are going to be to automate um, encased industrial beams and motors. Currently, we, uh... Oh, how did I get stuck there? What the heck? Okay, you know what? No, I have some. I'm doing it. Finally, putting a ladder here. Alright. So currently, our inventory is completely empty! We need to fix that. We need to solve that. It needs to not be completely empty. <coughs> Alright, one, two, three of those. One, two, three of those. One, two of those. One of those. One of those. Two of those. And then I noticed we have a we have a small issue of something that's not quite making it all the way. Um, our reinforced iron plates don't have backup that's making it all the way over here. So let's get those hooked up real quick. That's gonna be on the I believe the top floor is where the reinforced iron plates should be. That's all it was. Alright, and this is gonna start backing up here pretty soon, unfortunately. do is more coal. That's that's going to be what helps us out here. If we can get more coal, we will solidly have everything we need. Now, is, did I ever unlock? No, it would be in transportation, I believe. stuff, we might as well get this busy with, um, I really ought to have unlocked this a while ago. Alright, then we need a bit of biofuel. Reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. We only need 50 biomass. 200. I am very wrong. Alrighty, let's do this. Alright, 
and then we give it just a little bit of power. We'll do that a bit more properly. And there we go. Let's give it a test, shall we? All the way up to the top. It's going to take just exponentially longer to get to the top of as things go on. So much nicer way down. Yep. We should have invested in that a long time ago. framework, of course, that we'll need more of directly, and then each of these parts are going to use the other two that we have connected here. I did turn them off, so we're getting all of the all of the excess now. Um, yeah. I think our next step is, is more steel. We're only getting that much. We are gonna regret it. So our first step is gonna be to get. Let's see. You are a Mark One miner. The only a Mark One. Hmm. We've got we've got more iron over there that we can tap into. We just, we just need to make sure that we've got full coal here. We, we ought to we ought to go get more coal because that's 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 a current hiccup with with the steel is this mark three belt is not providing the constant um, coal that we actually want it to it's close but it's not quite providing it do is we want to get another another line of coal going here. Um, we know we've got one over here that we can use. It was attached to this station here, but we don't need that anymore. That was a full mark two. Okay, that's not terrible. I'll just go up and over right here. Oh, I didn't grab the... Don't upgrade. Uh. Then we 
we're gonna bring this over here. This will be the inner one. Carry this all the way back to the base. So, my biggest concern with getting oil started today is that there's some big scary monsters by the uh, oil that I'm aware of. So, we have got some combat ahead of us, and I don't know how much healing we actually have. Because that combat, they're, gonna, they're going to try to murder us really, really hard. And there's, uh, I think there's two alphas that we're going to have to deal with, the alpha spitters. Those guys are those guys are deadly. Really? Because there's a power line there? Okay then. Whatever. So we now need to fully saturate this tier two. He might get his laps real quick today. to do this. I've got it. Alright, so let's bring this all the way over there. We'll split it. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. We'll split it into two. means we're going to want production. No, logistics, splitter. Or, uh, yeah, splitter, right there. And so we'll mark three that. Come connect it to the 
there. Because, yeah, this this was only a temporary solution last time. We we want to be using all of this coal if we can. Just the, 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 the excess was just, well, that, it was excess. Alright, so now, we don't have Caterium attached to this anymore, so we don't need to worry more about um, this. Though that is now holding all of our Caterium and a bunch of coal. Alright, but making the coal actually consistent is going to be a very, very helpful thing. But then, we need to break that off and get more up even higher. Because we want to be making as many coal ingots as we can. Or, steel ingots, sorry. It's just, it's just going straight to the overflow, and it just is doing it awkwardly. But that's fine. We won't, we won't see this floor anymore. We're done with this floor. No, no, no. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're not even going to look at this one. Now, I believe to properly get over that, we need a fourth. Just three works fine. Interesting. Okay. isn't at the same spot. Well, that's concerning. Okay. It might just be a trick of the trick of the perspective, now that I think about it. Cause this isn't quite right up against Yeah, it was a perspective trick. Okay. So, we now need the remainder of that coal, and that iron. I think it's reasonable to be able to bring both of those over to this wall right here. Uh, would it be better to bring them to okay let's yeah let's 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 think a little further ahead these foundries how big are they how many can we fit we want to be making just as much steel as we can on this floor looks like we can fit eight of them 
We're gonna need to get a little creative with the uh, the, the routing. Yep, but we can bring eight. We just need a couple more of those um, frames. I really need to research signs so that I don't have to kind of, I don't have to blindly go, oh, is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. This one? No. This one? No. This one? Yes. We'll get into signs soon enough, though. At this point, I really do just—I really do just kind of think we should start oil, though. Fine, we'll just start oil. We'll just start oil. I'll manually craft it. Don't worry about it. It's probably a horrible decision on my part, but the the less upwards we need to get this oil, the better. This first bit of oil is going to be the most obnoxious bit, because from well, my plan from here on out is to do it via trains. But I, I have to wait to get to trains first, and trains require us to be processing a bit of oil before we can unlock them. So that's a thing. <sighs> All right, let's. Let's, let's set the goal and then grab the stuff to manually craft it. So we need 50 motors, which is going to require a lot of rotors and stators. So it's 50 motors, and then... I actually don't know if I can manually craft motors, now that I think about it. But um, and then we need encased ones. Oh my god. <laughs> we need four hundred of those. Hopefully, hopefully the, the, the coal thing that we did will help speed it up, but... There's only 200 at 10 minutes. We got a bit before we can do that one. Alright, we can make motors manually, that's good. Oh, they take forever! Holy crap! Ooh. So the reason I was thinking about automating it is that we could totally... But, no, I, I'm not... I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't come up with a good system of getting all the resources up to, to the floors that they're needed on. I haven't come up with a good system for that. It's really what we need to come up with here soon. We only need 50, or we're past halfway. So, 
yeah, we'll also be needing the encased beams. We will need a hundred of them, and we have enough to make half of what we need. I guess we, we do have enough coal. We could probably manually make this stuff. take forever. It was going to take forever no matter what. I just didn't realize that it would need this much stuff. So, it's a little heavy. At least he's craft faster. have to use all of them for the, uh, the, the coal, and I remembered to grab the... But no, we, we're, we're happy it's a Tier 3. I'm not sure we're fully able to keep up on it as a Tier 3, but... Worst case scenario, I can go upgrade and, and merge some things to make it so that the Tier 3 conveyor stays full of coal. So once we get the, uh, once we get the oil, we'll need to pipe it all, all the way back over to this tower and up, all the way up to that floor that we just built. Because we have to do all of our processing in this 5x5 five five tower. And I didn't think about the fact that I probably should have left some of the lower floors available for the liquid processing. But I really, really should have. We should be... Okay, we gotta figure out what just happened. There's too many wires going into that system now. What happened? What? What happened? What happened to my steel? What happened? We're gonna figure that out. Because I am concerned. What? Really? Reconnect the power. Oh, man, it doesn't, it doesn't get much stupider mistake than that. So then it runs a little bit while we're gone. Let's... Oh man, 
man, that's so frustrating. It's not even gonna look pretty, but whatever. How could I? We're definitely taking a break after this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 honey, what is you doing? What am I doing? Ah! all that was wrong. It does not get any worse than that. Take a break while this carries us back to base. Gah. Ah! Here we are.
It's not full. Because it's not a Mark II. It's such a headache! Okay, looks like it is. Good. I just still agree that there's way too much wire going through the line, so we're gonna turn off one of those. Optimized a little bit. I literally code for a living. I should know that premature optimization is bad. And yet I did it anyways. end up with extra, but not nearly as many. And we're in the later game. They don't need as much wire. Two hundred of those. I think, in the meantime... Well, we can't even scan for oil until we get this upgrade, so... I can't know for certain that the one that's this way... ...is actually the best one. Stupid bit, I'm sorry. Well, 
I'll grab some more of those too. Committed, as if we weren't already plenty committed. To be fair, it is coming reasonably fast. It's not slow anymore. <laughs> now that we actually maxed out the the the, the steel. Alright, I've got to make sure that there's still copper wire coming through this every once in a while. I believe that was one. Uh, no. Looks like there is not. I'm gonna turn one of those back on then. one of this. This one. It's so dark in here. see some copper wire before we move on. Eh. It's actually not as important. The worst, the worst case scenario, we're a little under on it now, but it's better than it being as over as it was. Close, but we're still still not quite there. Now, also to be fair, we only need one oil foundry because we just need enough to get some plastic and some rubber. We don't need to be doing anything fancy with it yet, especially because we can't do fuel, or we can't do a fuel generator, I should say. Once we can do fuel generators, then then this this whole process gets a little more interesting. find our healing stuff and start getting ready to fight. Let's fix this. Some healing stuff in there. Here's the big stuff. There, there, and there. And then we've got some berries and some nuts in here. So no, we do have plenty of healing. I'd be at full hit points for the first time in a long while. And you know what? 
I need to we need we need to solve a problem before it I'm tired of you guys not being able to see what's going down at night because Twitch's compression, or I guess Streamlabs compression, is garbage for dark colors. So, I'm gonna fix that. So I'll grab some of the fix-it coupons. Foundation specials, customer equipment, no parts, no customizer, no. It's gotta be an organization then, yep. Ooh, it wants Keterium. They all do. Buy them anyways. Next time it gets dark, we'll build some. Because we really, we really should have done that a while ago. Okay, probably not. Quite in enough. I think we're I think we're just shy. Yep. Close enough that by the time we're done with this, we should be good. But then we'll need to craft a bunch more for actually being able to make the foundry and stuff. We'll we'll see. So right now we only need to focus on actually building the stuff. Getting it over here. We can wait on the processing a bit. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil-based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing, as seen in the refinery. We didn't have the Caution. Pause. This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. Alright, so making... Now, now we got the valve and... Okay, so what we gotta do here now, organization as the lights, production as the refinery, and the oil extractor. We wanna make just, just one of those for now. closest one is that one 800 meters away and we have to we have to bring it all the way back over here oh man that's gonna be painful and then because we need 20 encased industrial beams, we need to get 80 of these regular beams. Yeah, you know, F it. At this point, we should just be manually crafting them.
jump backwards. Nope, that one didn't work. Alright, I've managed to get it a bunch of times consistently in a row, but... Alas, all streaks must come to an end. Still not seeing any wire here, just cable. Mildly concerning. I've got 56 of those now. tickets on us anymore. <laughs> Don't need them at all. How was the challenge, says Decree. You literally just woke up. Okay, well, I mean, you did stay up pretty late and get pretty, pretty trashed, so that's fair. <laughs> uh, the challenge goes all right. We are getting ready to head out and go find our first bit of oil. You don't remember how late you were up, Rip? Uh, I mean, you ended stream just after midnight, so... Don't know how much later after that you stayed up. Oh, what was it? I was gonna... I was gonna put the tickets in there. I mean, we're gonna go on an adventure. 800 meters that way. We need to bring power with us. Alright, so this is actually one of the more dangerous spots. So, we'll see how this ends up going. We have to bring power with us, because we're going to definitely, definitely need pumps. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, we're really, really, really going to need a whole lot of that. But don't, don't want to leave without the ability to pipeline it all back to us. And then the pump... Okay, so we're gonna need to uh, have a whole bunch of this, and then a bunch of rotors as well. Alrighty. Don't leave without having this stuff. What am I doing? You got me all distracted, man. <laughs> all right, well, you do that a lot, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty distracting guy over there, I tell you.
Alrighty. So we'll grab the rest of the beams that we've made so that we have some. Though we really don't need a physical transport here. Um, I only need 20 of these. definitely get plastic and rubber at least ready to go. Maybe not actually full-on started, but ready to get started. 20, not 15. 20. That's why we have that on the right there. There we go. I'm gonna make a couple extra. Just in case. Alright. So we're gonna run this way. We'll end up making some like foundations and stuff along the way to help us out. So definitely gonna be monsters on the way. Alrighty, we need to head up there. So let's Let's, from this angle, we can get a ramp. And, uh, mm, yeah, the four meter one should be all right. Just as high as that lets us place it, and then bring it down. All right, and then we'll put one down here at the bottom. Actually, over here ish. Um, let's do another scan. That way. Alright, bees! Hello, bees! Bees! Come on, come on, come on. Waiting for you. What's up there? It's made it worth protecting with bees. So there's poison flower over there. We can keep our eyes out for poison flowers on this side, but I don't think there are. We didn't bring our novelists, so we can't blow them up. further this way. Oh. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Fine, Mars is fear, I'll pick you up. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even see him. 
I'm complying, I'm complying. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Alrighty. So our oil is off on that island, all the way over there. And it is very protected. These double bees right there. And there's a bunch of fire spitters. Set of bees. Time for a second. Hey, bad, a bad, a bad, a swing, swing, swing. Mm, I'm betting we can cheese this slug here. Just like that. Yoink. Alright, so there's oil here, but it's normal. I believe there is a pure here somewhere. We want the pure if we're gonna only do one. There's also a, a, a hard drive over there that we're gonna get while we're out here. But the alpha spitters are nearby. And they are going to hurt. There he is. Persistence is key here. Persistence is key. See, there we go. And here's the pure node, yep. Alright, so because that's the pure one, that's the one we're gonna grab. That's the one we want. The power slug here. And. Um, let's, let's officially put the pipeline on a hot bar. Operating. Assuming I did it right. Alright, the only concern now, I think, is that we can now use more power than we are generating. We won't, very likely, but we could. So it's entirely possible that the whole system shuts down 
while we're doing this. Alright, while we wait for that to stabilize, we're gonna go grab that. If I recall, this one is surrounded by a whole lot of bees. But none of them are close. But it also needs 50 megawatts. Alright, because we are not connecting this to our main power grid, we are allowed to build the power out here. I double checked. That's 50. These make 30 each. Not to each other, no, to this. And then. some leaves to make it work. while we've got the power. And boom, we get a hard drive out of the deal too. And then I do not need these leaves, so we can huck them. Alright, so we're very very likely going to need pumps to make this work out right. But it's official. We are now oil barons. We have struck oil, and we'll be bringing it back to the motherland. Now, we just need to figure out where we need our first pump. It's looking like it's not quite here yet, because we are still getting stuff. However, we've got a good spot for a pump here, so I'm going to put one here. I'm going to do it. Thus, the pumping began. just to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. It's why we're following the, uh, the power line. some oil in this one. Let's throw another pump here to be safe.
this way. Well, I honestly lost complete track of where we were. This is why we're happy that we had to go up to get here, because that means that now we won't be needing the pump as bad. Since it's going to go down, but we have all the headlift we need, and so we should be able to bring this all the way back up. Walk it back and make sure that it is going to flow. That it is. We're getting oil in this one. And we're getting oil in this one. All right. This is working. It's working. sense to do right here. Oh, let's go put some hole in the floor. See how high we can get it without a pump. Because I'm not, I'm not sure where the pumps want to be, but we'll see. Hey. into that one just lickety split Alright, my 
my guess is it's going to be somewhere along this one where it stops. It's looking like it's working. Yeah, we're still getting oil in that one. It's here where we'll need this pump. Not straight up, no. right about there where we needed the pump in the first place. So, that means that we'll want another one. Hey, pump. Right there. And that will be everything we need. Nice and easy. oil. Up way higher in the tower than I was anticipating needing to do it. But it's done. Now unfortunately we need more power. Before we can actually deal with the oil. So we're gonna go deal with that real quick. got everything we need on us to make um, make these, but we can, we can try. Um, it looks like it's the reinforced iron plates we're short on, so we'll go get some more of those real quick. Oh, 
just need to make sure we've got enough water. I think we do. Oh, I mean, I guess we have these as well. These are for these are for making sure that the other system doesn't doesn't break. Okay. Either way, I think we need more power. Let's go research this uh, hard drive and see if we get anything interesting. I sure hope we get something nice out of this one. Hey, it's Jums with the real name. What's up, my guy? Okay, the real <laughs> as real as it gets me. I, I was I was there for that. Am I shot on me? Yeah, yeah. Same. We gotta make some more power here. Because, uh, we are pushing the boundaries of what we have available, and we could run out any second now. Alright, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Um, and so we want. Man, Twitch's emotes are wild. Like, what? What the? I know those are yours. Uh, I believe that one's yours, Decree, but still, uh... Twitch emotes are wild. Jumps. Yes, yes, extra O jumps. Do you like yours? They feel unique compared to 99% on here. They're just chibis. I will agree. Yours are, yours are wild, man. <laughs> Go crazy with them. I can tell, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's more fun that way. Apparently. Product 
three up to the side there. Hold up, weren't the, the, okay, there's a third water. And that's the one we need to bring in for this. The, the wall oh. oh we're not on the right floor that's why it doesn't sound the right spot the benefits of actually being able to make your own yeah they're definitely unique uh, I highly recommend basic Photoshop to everyone super simple to get a good set of skills down come in handy occasionally yeah yeah can can confirm basic Photoshop skills are phenomenal you don't even need to be able to do it, like, like, people stuff on Photoshop. Like, that, that shit's difficult. Doesn't even need to be people. It's fine to just, uh... Learn how to even, like... Put things together in a way that... I mean, it doesn't even have to look good, let's be honest here. It just has to look... connecting. Can't afford? What the hell, man? How does... How did I run out of those? No. Don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. I can, I can, I can, I can feel you. I can feel how you're looking at me. Don't look at me like that. Totally meant to do that. Don't worry about it. If you feel like anyone who wants to be a legit content creator online should learn basic photo editing uh, and video editing skills. Maybe some basic audio mixing as well. Mm, man, I was the audio guy. I was the audio guy for a lot of the, a lot of the, like, projects that I took, and, like, I, I can't handle bad audio. Like, it pains me to have only this $40 mic here. Because I know, I know it's not the greatest sounding thing. What can I throw? I was killer at audio. I mean, my start was at a student radio, so, like, that, that was 100% what I liked to focus on, because it was, it was that important to me. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't watch things that have awful audio. Like, if there's that, like, bassy hum in the background, that's the worst one. And of course, I'll need more of these. Of course I will. To be fair, it doesn't need to be Mark three. in a wall hole right there and then we'll pull a pipeline all the way across for this one here and then go back to now get a pipeline there there Even 
being able to edit a video or making a thumbnail if you're if your people can't do it. Yeah, just in general, like being able to do that kind of stuff really, really like makes or breaks your ability to make good content. Most people won't have people to do stuff for them until they're already making a lot of money and that takes a lot of time and effort. And luck, do not forget that you have to get lucky to be big enough. Unless you're rich and can just immediately pay people. Also, yeah. Alright, so. What we need to do now is hook up the, uh, Love the carefully balancing of the uh, mushroom as we climb down the stairs. Stairs, ladder, close enough. That's right, I made it so that ladder doesn't work anymore. So now, put that there. All right, and then yeah, that, that water right here. go all the way up there. So let's let's figure out the best way to do this. Wait, you're referring to the people that pay, yeah. I was part of an organization that had enough money to pay in college. My wife was actually the editor. And like as nice as that was, that was far too expensive for the uh content that was coming out of it. Not to say that she was bad at it, it's just I wouldn't have paid that much for an editor at all. I'm also a stingy little rat, so we're just barely too long. Very precarious way to do this, but whatever. And there we go. We just gotta hope that we don't end up in a power crisis, because if we do, this is gonna be a, a major, major issue. So we wanna make sure we've got enough water to do this. So after I hook this up, I'm gonna go double check. My wife's watching. Yeah, I am stingy. It's true, except for except for. Okay, no, I'm stingy when it comes to certain things, and I am very much not stingy when it comes to a lot of other things. <laughs> Let's see. You've never liked other people editing your videos. You like having the personal touch and control on them. I will 100% agree. But I kind of got over it when um, when I was in the Geek Wave, just because other people were editing the videos. Um, it'd be more open to it since it's been a long time since you've done proper editing, lol. Yeah, define proper, Decree. Define proper. What is proper editing?
what defines proper editing as opposed to improper editing? I've got to know now. Alright, just focusing. I need to get this done like ASAP. Yesterday, even. Watching something you have made and edited as it's finished state this nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's so good. <laughs> Structuring the full thing, color coding, paying way too much critical detail to transitions and frames so there's no odd looking stuff like a flash frame of a different clip, blah blah blah. And also like framing and cropping the video and correcting that. Any editing is proper, but I feel like doing quick cuts in my stream like the escape simulator is way less effort and time than what I used to do. Oh, yes, you used to put in what I would officially call far too much effort. Your quick cuts are exactly what people want to see nowadays. Or at least what, exactly what I want to see nowadays. I want to be in there, I want to have a good laugh, I want to have a good time, and then I'm done. Like, it doesn't need to be fancy, I don't need all the Markiplier zoom in and everything going on. Like, this is... It's, it's a bit much for, for just... It's a bit much for Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and, 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 and PewDiePie sometimes, like... Just because they've got a style doesn't mean that you have to emulate it perfectly. Your old YouTube videos were insane in the editing. Yeah, they were. They were far too much effort, in my opinion. But they were absolutely amazing because of it. I will, I will agree, but that doesn't mean that your current content is any worse. I need to check the water though. So it's using 45 per minute and there's now 16 of them. So I need to make sure we're getting 720 water through this uh, pipe network. Ooh, no! Let me just eat this uh, mushroom so I don't break my legs. It's true, different type of content. You're still happy with what you're doing, and you're happy that you're not spending like eight hours a day doing it. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if you were full on paid to do YouTube, like, I could see you putting in that much effort for the whole time. But, uh, also having an IT job on this side? Not so much. Not so much. Having a full-time job is just big oofs on what you can put in. <laughs> it might be big oofs, but uh, in my opinion, it's saving you a whole lot of headache. Alright, so we've got this one making 240, this one making 240... This one making 240, so 240 times 3 is that 720 value that we came up with, isn't it? Yep. So we are getting enough water here, which is good.
Cool. This is working great, then. Where's my ladder? There it is. That's for all of us. Good point. You think the reason you quit is because you were putting too much effort in and the views weren't worth it. Nowadays, a bit less work for you. So you're happy with the lower views because you don't spend an insane amount of time on them. But yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I feel it. What's my phone buzzing about? Oh, okay. I fall too much. It actually hurts to go this fast. Okay. Awkward, but sure. Okay. So yeah, we do have enough water. So now, let's, uh... I don't know how the foundries, or how the, the, the refineries are going to fit up there, but... Okay, so there's there's an issue that oil refining brings up. For those of you that, that haven't played this game while, there's been oil refining like this. Um, so oil refining takes in oil and then puts out a solid and a liquid. And if either of those back up, the whole system stops. So you've got to make sure that you're properly handling all the solid, and you've got to make sure that you're properly handling all the liquid. Now, the liquid can be turned into a solid that can be sunk. Or, the better way to do it is you can you can recycle it into fuel later so that the system becomes more power neutral. But, that's not yet, because we don't have the fuel generator for quite some time. That's those computers and the, and the, the, the big frames. Oh, I'm not, I'm not excited to be making those. But, I think we're going to want trains before we actually fully automate that. This game is complicated, and we're at the stage where it actually, like, hits its full complicated, and then everything from here is just the same but more. Like, once we get to aluminum in the next tier, if we can even get there before my computer shuts down because of the, uh, the, the fact that all of everything is loaded and displaying right now, like, like, did my... The more things I do here, the lower my frame rate's gonna just consistently be. All right, so refineries. What? How big are they? So we can fit for that way, but it looks like they are officially too big. That way. To have multiple. Yep, so we can only fit four refineries on a floor. Though they do have the they do have a smokestack. I can't really see it unless I like try to put it on the ground or something. No, even then. I can't see the ground yet. But they do have a smokestack, but the whole thing is just tall. So we're going to have to deal with that here shortly. Oh, the spinny went away. I went too far away, and so spinny despawned, which means I have to jump down the normal way. Let's see. I have missed a lot. We're having a good time. Who cares about the views? I need to, need to scroll up a little bit here, I think. Yeah, anywho, yeah. We're having a good time. Who cares about the views? Yeah, 100%. I agree. Streaming is fun just because it's fun. Um, and editing is not. <laughs> um... But yeah, this game is this game is horribly complicated. You've done seven hour streams with one viewer who was with me, uh, with you popping in and lurking and just vibing for a little bit. 
Um, is my ring light on? Yes, yes it is. The, uh, the window's a little more open than normal, but the ring light is on, yeah. Um, you've done many of those streams as well. It's the life when starting out. Yep, yep, that is, uh, that's what I'm feeling. <laughs> it's still fun, though, because the, the, the challenge is fun. Like, this is, this is very much an enjoyable little challenge in a really complicated game. Whether someone's here or not, I don't, I don't much care. Face looks more orange than normal, you're just wondering. Yeah, that's because the ring light's making it more orange. If I closed the window, it would the white balance would kick in, but... Alrighty, um... So we can only make four. We only really want two right now. Do we want to, um... We want to turn this into polymer resin in a refinery and then sink it? Oh no, we don't have the ability to... Okay, hold up. Heavy oil residue... makes petroleum coke, that's right. And then that can be sunk or used for more power if we want. I would need more water though, because it, it burns just like coal. It burns a little faster as well. You have a question, was the orange named after orange or was orange named after the orange? What orange came first? That's it. Good question. I don't know if the fruit or the color came first. Um, and let's just be like, in a lot of languages, the name of the fruit and the name of the color are actually the same. It's not just English that, that does that. Naranja is orange, uh, both the fruit and the color in Spanish. Um, that's the only real example I've got that I can get off the top of my head, but most languages uh, do call it orange, and the, as in the color as well. I don't know. Wikipedia might be able to tell you. But word history is not really my thing. <laughs> okay, no, history. History is not really my thing. I am horrible, absolutely terrible at history. My ADHD brain is absolutely terrible at remembering dates and names. Like, I'd forget my own name if it wasn't written on my underwear as a kid. Honestly. I'm that bad with proper nouns and, and dates and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so... You need three refineries and a sink to be able to get just just basic, super basic plastic and rubber going. So three refineries um, and a sink. Okay. And because we've been gone for so long, we should have there we go a bunch of those. Thank you. Um, let's let's take care of our inventory real quick. Um, those go in there. Those go in there. That's raw resources. We'll put monster parts in here. As well as that. And the tool. Cable, and then motors. We need more of those, so I'm just going to scrap. We only need thirty of them. All right, manually crafting, and then I'll go back to chat as that's going. 
But I see chat's going for it. Now we're talkative today. If you don't mind you asking, is my real name Xavier Xavier or something totally different? My real name is actually Xavier. Um, or Xavier, however you want to pronounce it. Um, that is that is my actual name, like on my birth certificate and my uh, my driver's license and everything. Um, my parents were ahead of the curve. Uh, Xavier is actually a much more a common name for children nowadays. Um, thanks in part to I honestly believe the X Men, but yes, that is my actual name. Did I answer the question? No, no, I did not. Uh, I'm 99% sure the fruit orange came first and the color was named after the fruit because the color orange became orange. It was red yellow. Then it became orange because of the fruit or something like that. Fruit orange came first. That, I mean, that sounds right because typically you have names for objects before you have names for descriptions of the objects. That's kind of uh, just, just a... You generally look at a giraffe and you can say that's a giraffe or that's a, you know, insert name there. But, you know, after that, after you've been, you've finished calling it a giraffe, then you can say it's yellow with brown spots and a long neck. And like all of those words get generated because you're trying to describe to somebody what a giraffe looks like. But giraffe, it's, just, it's a giraffe. I don't know why I'm using giraffe as an example, but I am, okay? Just deal with it. But yeah, typically, typically adjectives come afterwards in language. It's just... Where were oranges native to? Like... Because that's, that's where things get really interesting with words for things. Because, like... English words for things that existed in the Americas when it was discovered... Very, very much the word for them came before or came after all the descriptive words. Um, <clears throat> so the orange came before the orange, not orange coming from the orange, because the orange was named after orange because the orange was orange. That is correct, Jumps, yes. <laughs> Language is fun. And English is a clusterfuck. <laughs> Man, English, English and Chinese are just up there in the most complicated languages because there's just so much to know. And yet, we, we just have it. We just have English because we grew up with it. And, you know, we're never going to be able to learn Chinese because, one, we're too old to really properly learn a new language like that. Uh, because it's just completely different and just as complicated. You just, you just said orange eight times and it somehow kind of made sense. Yep. Yep. I needed to know that that, that that thing was a thing. Welcome to English. That that is a, is a proper proper term. That that I needed to know that 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 thing is a thing. That 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 thing. Hey, what are you doing? No, don't make a hub. All right, refinery. That way with it. And we'll pull this one the other way around. And then we should still be able to fit a sink here. Yes, we can. What's the weirdest proper English sentence? Isn't it buffalo, 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 buffalo? Uh, no, that's one too many buffaloes. It's only eight. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. No, seven. It's only seven? I thought it was seven. Because buffalo is apparently a verb as well. Don't worry about it. I feel like it's seven. It might be eight. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, 
we want the output of this. Oh, it is going to uh, be a little odd. So that'll be the uh, that'll be the output, the residue, um, and so that'll make petroleum coke. This works at 40 per minute, and the plastic puts out no, not that plastic, other plastic. Plastic puts out 10 per minute, and rubber puts out 20 per minute for 30 per minute, which means we are fine to handle this at. Five percent, and then we want it to be sunk. Okay. Now we can hook these things up. Open that here. Got that on that. All right, we don't want to hook it up quite yet because we don't have the... Well, we can hook it up. The output that we don't want to have back up is the other one. On two back. Come on, let me on top. No! Do not bump me off. Don't you do it. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Is a grammatically correct sentence in English often presented as an example of how homonyms and homophones can be used to create complicated linguistic constructs for lexical ambiguity. Okay, they're just they're just having fun using words at that point. brain has so much useless info you love it. Welcome to being an interesting human being. <laughs> That's eight, eight. Oh no! Climb the ladder again! This is only gonna get worse a mistake to make. Well, at least I can hydrate. Ladder climbing simulator, yep. What if satisfactory SMPs existed? Uh, so they technically do. Um, they're still a bit buggy, but as of the most recent update, they have been working on getting private servers operating. They are really, really heavy servers. Like, um, to get a... One of my coworkers calculated to get something properly capable of running it, it would be like 30 bucks a month. As opposed to, you know, like Minecraft servers that are like, what, 5, 10 bucks a month. You know, they're dedicated private servers, but they, they need, like, 8 gigs of RAM to work properly. Um, and it only supposedly supports up to 4 people at a time. Um, you can get it to work up to about 100, but things start getting weird with characters at about 7? Um, still, it, it kind of works. They're working on it. Um, what's what's going to be the best way to... 
do this. Mm, I think... Going out... This wall there is probably our best shot at keeping things relatively organized. Um, So that's where that's where the, the plastic and the rubber should come out. For a while we had a friend, you could play with them for free. That would have been sick! Actually try this out for free. I still ended up buying the thing, but I would have been able to try it before I bought it, and then I would have bought it even harder. <laughs> this is like the perfect kind of game for me. I love having to think through problems like this. I'm very much a puzzle gamer, very much a single player gamer, very much a, a story gamer, uh, but I don't need story to like games like this. Like, this is crack for me. Like, this is... Mm, I love this game. No! Ugh. Bought it even harder. No. Oh, we already had... Well, still. How about... It's, it's a phenomenal game. It's like 10 out of 10. Absolutely love it. Um, and multiplayer, it is it is still free. Um, my friend can host his like when he's playing, he can he can host his world, and I can I can join in with a couple of my friends. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want something like dedicated, like staying up forever, um, it's it either costs a lot of money or you've got to have a good a good uh, uh, like server set up in your house. And uh, I currently own. A singular working like good computer. I have like a I have a laptop that's decent. My wife has a laptop that's pretty good. Um, it could play satisfactory until we got to about this tier. Um, it probably would not load up this world. <laughs> uh, but I don't I don't have anything that would be capable of running something like that. Multiplayer is technically free, um, other than that you have to have somebody have it up and you've got to have good specs now because. This game is complicated. Okay, so we've got it coming out there. We need to run it around. Um, let's... let's get a wall stuff going out here. There, there. Oh, no. No! Bad. There. There. Um, and then we can do conveyor wall mounts. Not full on on the corner, but there. Um, and then we need to make it so we can still use the ladder. So we've got to come out there. there. Okay. And now... What? what? Okay. No, I've connected you. Why am I not getting... Is it just barely too high? No. Yes.
is this not working? Because it thinks it's water? Debug time. Mm, okay, yeah, it must it must think it's water or something. Flush the system. Here we go. Something's wrong with the floor hole. game was because you saw some of Let's Game It Out satisfactory mates and it looked fun. Oh, Let's Game It Out is so much fun. <laughs> the way that he, like, ruins this game is absolutely stellar. He is absolutely amazing at, like, completely ruining this game. And it is one of my favorite things to see. Josh is fucking phenomenal. Yes, he is. He only does like one video a month. They're always gold. They're always solid. And the way that he the way that he wrecks this game is officially one of my favorite things. Like he just he just pushes this game to its limits in every possible way. And in doing so, we learn where the game has where the game is weak and it's actually surprisingly surprisingly powerful. But man, his 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 satisfactory videos are top tier content. Why are you not working? Excuse me. Because I put a splitter on it. Of a merger. Because I'm a dum dum. the best of games and turns them into hell. That is a damn good way to put exactly what he does into words. Really good, really good at stress testing games. <laughs> like, far, far too good at it. Like, I want to see, I want to see this man's rig for how well it plays with how much he messes with it. Like, this dude's got to have, like, top of the line shit. Save almost killed me. Was that mining game he did? 
mining game. I, I haven't watched much more than his satisfactory stuff, just because. Oh man, that, I can only I can only digest so much of that chaos all at once, and like, oh, <laughs> I can only do like one or two of his videos a week, if that. All right, I need to make some AR limiters. So I can make some more smart splitters. Oh, I don't have any cook wire. That would make sense. But let's make some. Hydroneer. Spent like two days catching fish. A lot of, oh yeah, a lot of these kind of games are really fun to watch. Not so much to play, but. Oh, I need to make the stuff. Make. But yeah, he's, he's really good at finding sandbox games and just going for it. <laughs> he's so, so, so good at that. So good. plastic and rubber started. Um, we're probably going to manually craft a lot of things to get trains running. Which is going to take a long time. Probably probably off-stream amount of a long time. Um, but once we've got trains... I'm actually going to check a thing real quick. So trains, trains do just straight up have fluid platforms. Good, 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 good. So once we have trains, I can start transporting fluid a lot, lot easier. Um, and then it comes with block and path signals, which is good. So the trains don't run into each other. Yeah, I'm gonna select that milestone just so that we can have it as a list of what we're doing next. Because once we, once we have that, I'm afraid to say it, but we might we might need a full teardown again, but I don't think so. I think we'll keep what we've got here, and then we'll just use trains as a way to get the rest of the top stuff, just kind of going back and forth. Even the ways he found out how to steal from the store, even though it was not in the game, in Hygiene... <laughs> yeah, the man is phenomenal at just completely breaking things. And... If you have not checked out Let's Game It Out, he is really, really fun to watch. Like, so good. He is one of the best at just taking a game and tearing it apart in a way that's just absolutely hilarious. Um, there's a guy I follow, I don't quite remember his name, but he does the same thing with uh, Kerbal Space Program. Or he's just he's just glitch exploiting as best he can. And he's he's a, he's a grand old time with that. Some people are sending him a code for their games for him to stress test and expose glitches. You know. This is not a terrible idea. I would love, love to get someone like him to stress test whatever I make. Like I don't, I don't make games. Um, at least uh, not right now. Um, but like having someone like him to stress test things, 
utterly brilliant. Like, you wouldn't need anything else. You just need him. He's he's his oh he's his own quality assurance. Yeah, he would do it for free and he would put out good content. It's true. It's true. It helps to promote the game too, right? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Unless he messes it up too bad. Then maybe 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 it's not so good. But I mean hey, you could you could you could make it work. so that we can store the plastic. Center will be plastic, left will be overflow, and then for this one it's facing that way, so right is rubber, and center is overflow, just like that. There we go. Rubber and plastic, now getting stored. There we go, boys. That's it. That's that's what we set out to do today, and it's done. Plastic, rubber, from oil. So, um, if we go back into this, like you can see that a lot of this stuff wants like these heavy modular frames. Which are very, very complicated recipe. Or these computers, which are also a very complicated recipe. None of these recipes directly use rubber. However, rubber is still used in, like, actually making the things that, that, that do this stuff. Like, the, the, the fuel generator wants rubber to be made, I believe. The, uh... Manufacturer wants rubber. It's good stuff. But yeah, next time, next time I think I think it's time for trains. So we should be able to. Um, well, we need we need manufacturing here first, of course, but should be able to do that here shortly. Um, we're going to want to automate a couple more things before we get there, including like motors and stuff. Um, and if we can get something that automates computers and those frames, we're going to be a lot better off than if we didn't. I didn't initially automate those things in my home or in my, uh, my, my, my main game until far too late. Um, you said blue them. My, 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 my auto mod is, uh... <laughs> auto mod is on, uh, moderate on my channel, just cause I 
I don't, I don't want to deal with that kind of stuff if I don't have to, so. Um, it said blue them, so. <laughs> Twitch is getting too, too protective. A little too protective there. I didn't care that you said blew them up. You said blew them, and so. Gotta protect the kiddos from unwarranted, uh. sexual freezes. Even if they are just in the middle of something. I guess. Yeah, Ottermont's not the best, but um, I will say it's notably better than nothing, and it has already caught. Well, I think it was just one message where I was like, "Whoa, okay, yeah, no, you, bye." That mixed with the uh, "you can't chat till you followed me for ten minutes" thing. Um, I'd, I'd rather have a good time with a small group of people than a large time with a bunch of rude assholes. A bad large. You know what? I like the I like this angle. Let's 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 get a thumbnail from this angle. Well, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get the, the pipe in there. We'll call that good enough for a prod, or a, 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 I can't even do words anymore. You can say some messed up shit and, and Automod won't catch it. It's true. But then you get things like blew them up and apparently blew them and it's, it's far too much. Yeah, no, it's... It is not the best, but it is definitely better than nothing. And I'm not big enough to have, like, mods at all. So. It's just me. Well, alright. I think. I think we're gonna unlock industrial manufacturing real quick. And then call the stream, because that's all the progress I was expecting to make today. I'm going to stream it for your two and a half hours. It's about the average length I do these, so. Uh, now we need to make a hundred of these. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we need to automate this process sooner rather than later, but I... Oh! Wait! We have a hard drive. Let's see. Seismic Nobelisk. Those are awkward. I don't need to produce lots of Nobelisks. Encased Industrial Pipe is solid. The pipes make a lot faster than the beams. But Caterium wire is also a bit tempting. I'm gonna do the encased industrial pipe. And we'll use that instead of the industrial, uh... I can't even words. We'll use that instead of the, the, the beam recipe, because beams take a lot longer to make. I can make a whole lot more pipes. It just makes it a little more complicated because it needs one more uh, uh, concrete, but I can, I can give it more concrete pretty easy. No, not those. I mean, yes, those, but no, not those. We want... Motors. Jamis doesn't have Amazon Prime? What do you mean you don't want to give all of your money to its rightful owner, Jeffrey Bezos? Come on, man. You must return 
all money to its rightful owner, Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos did invent money after all, so he does deserve all of it. It is true. The bald alien man did invent money. Um, he don't even use Amazon. Yeah, no, that is completely understandable. I will 100% agree that not using Amazon, especially outside of the U.S., is very understandable. Inside the U.S., a little iffier. Um, I'm likely going to get away from it once my wife is no longer in college. Um, but, I don't know, it's still... No ethical consumption under late-stage capitalism, so no matter how hard you try not to give money to Jeffrey Bezos, you're giving your money to Jeffrey Bezos. It'll get to him eventually. Yeah, this is... Really need to automate this. I just came up with actually a pretty damn cool idea on how I could... It would look pretty cool too. Nah, let's not, let's not, let's not reorganize into doing that. That's a bit much. The idea was that I could, uh, I could and it's it's still iffy, but I could uh, have 15 belts just running like zigzags in between my floors, and then have the belts be like what carries everything to where it needs to be. Main bus kind of kind of style, but with the flat version. But it'd be very very complicated, very very convoluted, but it could work. You can get a monitor from Amazon and it will come to me in New Zealand in like two weeks. But you can get one from this local company and can pick it up in like ten minutes. Yep. Yep. Meanwhile, in Amazon, or in, in the US, um, I live in a place where Amazon actually does same day delivery. So I ordered something at like 10 a.m. and it was at my door at 4 p.m. So. As much as I like don't want to use it, I do though. I really do. But yeah, for, for places like New Zealand, Amazon's not the best. But up here in the States, it's, it's pretty nice most of the time. Amazon workers do get some money from it. It's a very insignificant amount of money, and they still have to pee in bottles, but it does stuff. It does help other people a little bit. I just wish it helped them more, you know? Amazon needs a union bed. Uh, they're, they're trying, sort of. Um, but the union busting is really, really gone nuts. Yes, yes. Hello, Bezos Spies. Amazon needs a union. I don't work for them, and I can't do anything to help that, but... The workers get stressed so hard, they do. They do. Rather unrealistic productivity numbers that they're fired for not upkeeping. It's it's. We need a class war already. Wow, wow. Decree, decree is just coming out with the big guns. 
I mean, I'm not gonna say out loud that we need to eat the rich, but... Oh, wait. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. New project parts enable progress to the next phase. Called stream here because like I don't know what else to do other than wait for more stuff to be made so I can make some computers so I can unlock trains and then we'll do trains and once we have trains I think I think we'll be able to more easily get resources from the bottom to the top I think that that's that's gonna be a very key part of our entire strategy going forward because like That's where we're that's where we're running into hiccups. Like you can already see the spaghetti mess. Like like look at it in the background there. Like look at it. Just like take a critical look. This is this is spaghetti. I have some ideas on how to make it better, but I think we're gonna need trains. I think I think we're honestly honestly gonna need some trains to make this work out properly. Because otherwise, otherwise this, this is not this is not gonna work. So, yeah, I think I think we're I think we're on the trains next time. Because if we don't if we don't move on the trains, we're gonna get we're gonna get stuck. Yeah. Trains next time, everybody. Trains. Alright, well, for now, I, uh, definitely ought to go help my wife clean up a little bit more before we have company come over. I got a, got a game of D&D in about an hour and a half, two hours. So I've got to make sure it's, uh, clean enough. So, um, yeah. They still have those tall go kart things. They do, they do, and I should, I should make one. You have to buy them from the, you have to buy the recipe to make them from the, uh, the, uh, the shop. But they do still have the uh, factory carts, and there's so much fun to go around in. I really ought to make one. I really ought to make one. But yeah, yeah. Anyways, have a good, uh, have a good evening, my guys. Um, see you Monday for some communist penguins in old school RuneScape, and then in a week for, uh, for some trains, hopefully. Chugga chugga choo choo. See you guys!